Hi there, folks. This is Jim Stevenson taking you back to November 28th, 1938. Madison Square Garden, New York. This is the feature attraction, 15 rounds for the World's Welterweight Championship. Coming from Los Angeles, California, weighing 134, wearing black trunks, the current world's lightweight and welterweight for King Henry Armstrong. <laughs> and the very worthy challenger from the Philippine Islands, weighing 146 and a half, wearing purple trunks, Seferino Garcia. <laughs> This boy, Henry Armstrong, is the only fighter in history to hold three world titles at one and the same time. Featherweight, the lightweight, and the welterweight. And the most amazing thing about it is he won all three titles within 10 months. Just a few weeks before tonight's fight, he gave up the featherweight crown because he said it was too tough getting down to that weight. Tonight, he's putting his welterweight title on the line against one of the toughest fighters in the business, Seferino Garcia of the Philippines. If Armstrong should lose tonight, he'll still be the lightweight champion. Round one. Madison Square Garden is packed tonight. Everyone wants to see Henry Armstrong, Hurricane Hank, the most talked of fighter in many years. End of round one. Now round two of this 15 round bout for the world's welterweight title between champion Henry Armstrong and Seferino Garcia of the Philippines here at Madison Square Garden, New York. Always distinguished between these two. Garsh is the bigger man, while Armstrong is always boring in and throwing punches. End of round two. In the third round, Garcia gets his left into action and scores well with jabbing and boxing. Now round four. Garcia's got to watch out for his eyes. He's got a lot of scar tissue over both eyes. He cuts very easily.
Marsh is a very hard hitter with both hands, likes to hook from the outside. But Armstrong stays right on top of him, and Garcia can't get room enough to use his hard hooks. The end of round four. In the next two rounds, Garcia works on Armstrong's body, hoping to slow him up. But Hank keeps right on coming in. Now round seven. Armstrong, head down, always boring in. They say that Armstrong doesn't beat you, he just runs you out of breath. seven. In the next two rounds, Armstrong opens up several cuts on Garsh's eye. Now round ten. Garsh has been fighting for 13 years. He has experience. He has a fine record of victories and knockouts. New York Commission doctor at ringside has been closely watching Garcia's right eye. It's badly cut. The end of round 10. At the end of the 12th round, Dr. Walker, the New York State Athletic Commission physician, examines Garcia's eyes, but lets the fight continue. Now round 14. Armstrong keeps whacking away at Garcia's eyes. He plays on Garcia's body, brings his guard down, then swings for the head. The end of round 14. Now the 15th and final round of this battle for the world's welterweight title between champion Hurricane Hank Armstrong and Seferino Garcia, Madison Square Garden, New York, November 28, 1938. Again, Armstrong keeps boring in, keeps Garcia on the defensive.
The end of the fight. Here's the official decision. The winner and still world featherweight champion, Armstrong.